for one of the most competitive and possibly one of the best sprint events tonight is the men's 200 metres. From the Southern Methodist University in Dallas via Auckland Grammar, here he is, Cameron Taylor, New Zealand's fastest ever runner over 200 metres, the New Zealand record holder, and performed uh, very well over this distance at the Barcelona Olympics last, last year. He's on the track, running in lane number three, ready for the 200 metres, shaping up as a great event. Here's Kevin Braunschool, one of the top-rated American runners over 200 metres, has a best time of 20.21, and here's the full lineup. And they're also another crop of very promising New Zealand sprinters in this lineup. And look for the man also in lane number four from Great Britain, Jason John. They're calling him the new Linford Christie of British sprinting. He's just 21 years of age, and he's not far behind Linford Christie. And in lane number five, Mark Cadell, who ran so well for New Zealand at the World Junior Championships, where he made the final of this event. And here he is, Mark Cadell, from St. Bede's College here in Christchurch, just 18 years of age and a very exciting sprint talent in New Zealand. And he will run in lane number five, and alongside of him is Jason John, 21-year-old, who also ran in Barcelona in one of the preliminary rounds of the 4 by 100 meter relay team for the Great Britain side that went on to finish in fourth place. Deep in concentration, making his first appearance in New Zealand. Boy, this is a good lineup, John Davies. That's one of the finest uh, sprint fields we had over 200 metres with Broad School in there. Cameron Taylor, watch him in lane three. And of course, a big cheer came here for Mark Cadell in lane five, the last man going down, a finalist at World Junior Championship, the only man in New Zealand's history of track and field to make a final in sprinting. This should be a very moving event. Four speed merchants in the middle of the track there. Taylor in three, John in four, Cadell in five, and Broadschool, the American, in lane six. Slight headwind up the home straight. Set. Away first time in the men's 200 metres, and who got away best? I think it might be Jason John, the Englishman, in the middle of the track. Cameron Talley, has got some work to do. Perhaps he's just gone out conservatively. Off the track they come, and it's Jason John being chased down the straight by Cadell and Broadschool. Broadschool, look at this from Cadell, the local boy. Big finish from Kevin Broadschool. John, oh, pick that one, John Davies. Was it Jason John on the inside? Was it Kevin Bronskill on the outside? But making them run hard all the way to the tape was the 18-year-old from St. Bede's College here in Christchurch, Mark Cadell. What a fantastic race that was. And Cameron Taylor, that was a bit early in the season for him. Well, the sprinting, we said, would be a uh, feature of this smoke-free track series. And what a great race this was. It certainly lived up to its reputation. And Jason John in the blue in lane four is a man that's really hit his straps well. And Kevin Braunschool out in lane six. Looked as if he was coming well. But look at Mark Cadell in lane five. He's chasing Jason John. Kevin Braunschool's chasing Cadell. The reputation of this young man isn't dented at all by the guys either side of him. What a great run from these three runners. It's Jason John holding his form. Oh, I wouldn't pick that. 21-22, great time into a headwind. And what a wonderful run from Mark Cadell. But this is the form of these flying runners. Look, there's heaps of determination going on here. And this exciting young runner, just 18 years of age, Mark Cadell, coming down to take third against two of the world's best 200-meter runners. A bit of confusion down here at the finish, uh, Jason John, but it looks like you've just got there. Oh, that's good. Uh, very crash race, also a very hard race. Uh, very strong headwinds, and I went to... I knew I was sh um, fit, but I went quite short of the race, it sort of went, so... Nice to have won. The freeze frame of the um, finish shows you just ahead of a win. One New Zealander there, Mark Cadell and uh, Kevin, Kevin Braunschill. Okay, yeah, it was, I knew he was going to be very close. Um, I knew which three, or well, four, including Cameron, which four was always going to be in, in for a shade. So I, tr I tried to come off the bench first, which I did. Then there's a question of maintaining, but I got to the one seventy, and I think I aged well about 30 years. It was really hard out there. It's going to be some good racing in the series over 200 metres. Indeed, both over one and two, I'm going to mix both of them. So over both one and two, it's going to be a very tough series, very competitive. It's all very good for New Zealand athletics. Jason, we look forward to those races. Thank you. Okay, thanks very much. Okay. So there it is, the official time, 21.18 for Jason John. Kevin Braunschel, we can tell you, has officially been clocked at 21.19. And Mark Cadell, very promising news for him, 21.26 into a head win. I tell you what, these guys will go well under 21 seconds when they get a legal tail win. Yes, we'll be in for some very exciting sprints in the remaining two meetings of the 1993 Smoke Free Track Series at Wellington next Wednesday and Auckland next Saturday.